probably guessed, October is my favorite month. I love the chilly autumn season, and I'm not really a fan of the summer months, so I'm always looking for a way to cool off. Today, I'll be showing you how to make these bone-chilling treats that are a snap to put together. For this full recipe, including a vegan variation, check out thehomicidalhomemaker.com. For this recipe, you'll need instant vanilla pudding mix, milk of choice, I'm using almond milk, crushed chocolate sandwich cookies, and black candy melts or dark chocolate for decorating. First, crush your cookies into small crumbs. You can do this using a food processor, rolling pin, or a fork. In a separate bowl, mix together the instant pudding mix and milk following the directions on the box. Once combined, add your cookie crumbs to the pudding and mix together. For molding the popsicles, I'm using a Zoku Quick Pop Maker which flash freezes your popsicles in about 7 minutes, but standard popsicle molds with a rounded top will work just fine. Pour the pudding mixture into the molds and allow to freeze. For decorating the popsicles, simply pipe the melted chocolate or candy melts directly onto the popsicle. A pastry bag or a Ziploc bag with the end cut off will work just fine, but I'm using this nifty little silicone pin that I found at the craft store. Get creative with it. You can personalize them for each guest, put silly names, or just go with the standard RIP. If you have a cooking question or there's a recipe or theme that you'd like to see featured on the show, send me an email at ask at thehomicidalhomemaker.com. Don't ask what happened to the last guy who forgot to subscribe to me on YouTube, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so the same thing doesn't happen to you.